What's up, superstars? Today I'm doing my review of April. Three stars out of five. But <laughs> just kidding. I've got a lot to go over, but you know me. I'll make it as quick as I can. Uh, I've got a response for Card Hobbyist 500 sub contest, uh, a couple of purchases, and some channel announcements. But first, care packages. Four Leaf's been sending all the cool kids some mighty fine care packages to help get through this quarantine. He must have mistakenly thought I was cool too. Uh, we got a Topps Heritage Beebs. I like that gold label Clubot. Classy. Get it? I love the effort that went into this. And that Jose Ramirez. Mercado rookie. Eric wants to do a pack war with Milo. Brett Butler. Milo's all about the pack war. We'll have to figure that out. And let's check this out. Eric airbrushed my logo for me. Sweet. I love it, man. Nicely done. Thanks, Eric and Little Leaf. This is from my buddies Autumn, Sarah, and James from the Gorilla family. We've got a list of what they sent. This surf book is rad. Look at that. We've got some cool drawings. A pretty lady and a flower. This one's got a really cool SpongeBob quality to it. Ah! I love when kids send me drawings. These are so sweet. James is thanking me for his 118 win. This book has all the team sets up to 86. That's awesome. Let's see the cards. We got a Purple Miller, Shiny Kluber, Big Mac, Pete, Cece. I like this Black Lindor. That's awesome. And the Shiny Lindor. Really cool 75 Gaylord Perry. And the Red Foil Jake Bowers. Thank you, Autumn. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you, James. Fantastic stuff, guys and, and ladies. If you watch Henry's channel, he does a lot with postcards. I commented that I liked this Corvair postcard one day, and apparently he had a bunch of them because he uses them a lot. But this seems to be the last Corvair. Thanks, Henry. I am honored. This next one is from Danny at Mets Rule. Uh, he sent a lovely note telling me how awesome I am. I sure do have a lot of people fooled. I'm supposed to open this one first. Kenny is fresh. Friend of channel, Lenny Barker. Manny, 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 it's raining Manny's. Hallelujah. And this one's packaged tight. Ooh, fancy ketchup. A 1951 Redback early win. Wow, that is, is uh, awesome. Thanks, Danny. You rock, dude. I love these. And the winner of the Who's Been Paying Attention Award goes to Jeremy. He noticed I had a 1933 Willie Com card in a recent box rummage, and he sent me this Willie Com autograph to go with it. That is so cool, Jeremy. Thanks, man. Hold on. Willie, Willie, I love it. Thanks, everybody, for sending me stuff. I'm honored and honestly flabbergasted. You guys are the best. My buddy Patrick, you know him as the card hobbyist, recently hit 500 subs. Uh, congrats, Patrick, and he's doing a contest. He wants to know five things about us that nobody knows, so here goes. Number one, I'm missing organs. I'm missing, uh, namely, my spleen and my appendix. If anybody has seen those, please let me know. Number two, high school jobs. I had two pretty cool high school jobs. Uh, in the winter, I was a ski instructor. And in the summer, I drew caricatures at SeaWorld. Uh, number three, my 15 minutes of fame are long since past. I was once in Conan O'Brien's studio audience, and he spent the entire show making fun of this beautiful beard of mine, and I have not shaved it since. Number four, what's with the reindeer? Um, the namesake of my uh, studio is this uh, little vintage stuffed reindeer here. His name is Radish. This was the very first Christmas gift that my wife gave me while we were dating. Um, and before Reindeer Studios, I had the Psycho Reindeer t-shirt company. So that's where the reindeer comes from. And number five, eagle eye viewers will notice that I sign my artworks S-K-A-G-H-T. It's still pronounced Scott, but while I was in college, a friend of mine uh, would email each other. We would email each other back and forth, and he addressed it to S-K-A-G-H-T one day, and it has stuck with me ever since. I adopted that as sort of my alter art ego, and what a big ego it is. So there you go. Five things. I try to behave, but I picked up some goodies. This first was a Facebook group purchase. We got 20 randomly selected autographed cards from my favorite team for 20 bucks. So where's Chris Bando, Bo Allred, Ross Grimsley. I've always loved this creepy card. 
Don Gordon, Brian Stephen Giles, this one's really cool, Jamie Easterly, Enar Diaz, Steve Davis, Brad Kamisk, uh, Wayne Kirby, Brian Olkers, uh, Corey, Joel Skinner, Paul Shuey, Ken Scrom, Don Hood, Rick Manning, that one's cool, Ron Pruitt, Herbert Perry, and Tony Perezchika. That sounds like a made-up name. Perezchika. Perezchika. I practically stole this ball off eBay. Lots of old-timers on it. We got Jim Mudcat Grant, Hal Narragon, Rudy Regalado, Woody Held, Rich Rollins, Kevin Romberg, Sonny Siebert, Harry Eisenstadt. He was a pitcher in the late 30s. Uh, Ned Garver and Max Alvis. Then friend of channel Len Barker, Vern Fuller, and Jolton Joe Askew. And finally, another eBay purchase and a couple of guys you've probably actually heard of. I picked up this neat Larry Doby signed Cracker Jack card and added on this Bob Lemon with uh, combined shipping. The lemon was practically free, so I got the pair for just over 15 bucks. Almost done, I promise. Uh, first, last night I was asked to be a guest host on the Autographers Anonymous podcast. I was absolutely honored to get to hang out with some real superstars of the autograph community. It was a lot of fun. That's supposed to air tonight on Wednesday. Uh, so look for that. Hopefully I didn't ruin it up. A little update on one of my videos. A couple of months ago, I did a TTM video about Chris Cotteroli and his luscious lip luggage. The weird part about it was that he signed the cards but did not sign the uh, doodle and he didn't keep it. He just sent it back. Um, so his kids found the video and made sure that he watched it and he said he loved it and he apologized for not seeing the doodle. Like apparently he just missed it. And I've sent, sent the doodle to his daughter. So that was exciting for me anyway. Uh, I'm easily amused. And lastly, I've had the itch to do a live stream. How I picture this working is I'm asking you guys to Help me out by uh, giving me suggestions for a marker doodle, and I will pick out some reference and we'll draw it live. No. We'll do it live! And I hope some of you will join me and ask me questions and tell me how awesome I am because, you know, I got this big head. And my wife, Jen, is going to moderate and it's going to be an experiment. So we will see how it goes. I'm hoping to do that sometime next week. So look for that. So big hugs and thank yous to Eric and Little Leaf from Four Leaf Cards, Autumn, Sarah, and James from Gorilla Family, Henry S., Danny from Mets Rule, he doesn't have any content, but give him a sub for being a cool guy, Jeremy, IPTTM, and The Card Hobbyist. Oh, and the Autographs Anonymous podcast, too. Go check them out and be safe. I'll be back on Friday with another fun autograph video, so we'll see you superstars then.